team brings back, obviously, Max Anderson, Caleb Thomas. A lot to be excited about this year. Uh, what are you looking forward to about the team? Yeah, we bring back a lot of core guys and Max and uh, CT, but uh, I'm, I'm excited to see how the other guys develop around them. Um, you got Xavier Anderson. He had a really good football season. He had a really good offseason with basketball. Um, Aquasia Poku at Champong, uh, mouthful point guard. Uh, Lokayu Smith, uh, a slasher to the basket, can shoot it from deep. And then we got a kid back, uh, Tyler Jones. Uh, from Goretti, he's a really good shooter. He can get to the basket. He can score. Um, and then we got Logan Bush. He had uh, 18 last year against Hedgesville um, at Hedgesville. So, yeah, it's just uh, it's just uh, exciting to see how this team matches. It's a completely different team. But, uh, you know, we had a great off season. So we're just looking to continue that success um, into the regular season. Coach Samples, Colin here. We saw a big improvement on the gridiron for Spring Mills. What are some of the growth through the offseason that you saw on the basketball court for your team? Yeah, man, any, anytime, we, anytime we have a good football season, any school, it leads into basketball season. So, uh, and, and, you know, we had guys out there, the Anderson boys, um, Hope Boquay, he's another kid that played varsity for us. Um, he started both ways in football. Uh, we, we went to, you know, we, we went to a few team camps. Um, we went to a few showcases. We played in a, a fall league. We try to get our guys as much exposure as possible. Um, a ton of our guys played on uh, for West Virginia Gold, uh, a travel basketball team where all expenses paid. Um, Jawan Staten runs that. He was an All-American out of West Virginia. So um, all that stuff together, you know, the skill workouts, the weight room, um, we had a, we had a wonderful off season. Um, I think you know what we've been saying the whole time is that we have to have a March mindset. Um, so you know we're just trying to build. Uh, this is still an off season for us, really. I mean, tonight is our first regular season game, but we still look at it as the off season. Um, the only games that matter that are in March. I think our focus has shifted a little bit. We started off seasons pretty good the last two years and kind of fell off. So uh, yeah, we're just trying to build every day, and it's still kind of like, we're treating this kind of like still preseason. Coach, when it comes to finding an identity for your team, do you think uh, how far along in that process are you this year? Because obviously you, you want to have that uh, sort of core of, of what your team is good at and what their strengths are. How, uh, where do you think you are in that process of figuring out what this team's identity is and what it's going to be? Yeah, I think I think we know who we are. Um, I think uh, – we have what we need to work on is being being who we are every day. If that makes any sense, uh, again we played we played tons of games this off season. We played together all fall. We played together all summer, um, and we've had a few scrimmages. And uh, if we can just if, if we know who we want to be, and if we can just be who we want to be, um, we're going to be pretty hard to beat. Because you talk about taking that next step and having that playoff success. What do you think it's going to take to get to that point with this program? I think everyone uh, understanding that this is day by day. We have to take every day one step at a time um, and improve every day. Um, you know, starts tonight against Millbrook. Uh, you know, Morgantown's winning. They're three and zero, uh, and they they're winning every game by sixty six point three points a game. Um, that's what state champions do. Um, they're, they're back-to-back state champions. And if we even want to be on that level or be on a level where we um, can go to the state tournament, uh, win a regional final, uh, we have to understand that it doesn't matter who we play. Um, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't matter if the team's better than us. It doesn't matter if we're more talented than that team. Uh, we have to bring our best game every single night, and we have to be consistent with that. And as you mentioned, that starts tonight. What have you seen from Millbrook as they've already played six games so far? Yeah, I mean, you said it right there. They played six games. Uh, that's huge. We played zero. Again, what we talked about our off season, and I think we're, I think we've been playing games all, all year round. But you know, a real game is different. Um, in front of a packed house, which we plan to have a packed house tonight, of a packed student section. Um, you're playing in front of your parents. You're playing in front of your classmates. You're playing in front of your friends. You're playing in front of your community. Um, everything tightens up a little bit. Um, so th- th- that's that's the number one factor. We we just have to come out and uh, do what we do. Don't let the excitement get to us. Um, Millbrook, it's, they're they're a weird scout. Um, they have you know I've seen every one of their games. Uh, they have 
all guards. I mean, they're all about five ten to six one, and they're all guards. Um, they have, you know, they work hard. The Eric Green's our coach. He uh, went to a couple state championship games with the girls over in Millbrook, and he, he he's come over to the guys now, and he has them playing really, really hard um, on both ends of the floor. Um, Millbrook, again, uh, for us, it's been a one possession game the last three years. Um, so, you know, we expect we expect it to be tight, and we're going to have to pull it out at the end. Coach, when it comes to tonight's matchup, what, you, what have you been focusing on for, for Millbrook specifically, uh, this being your, your first time out on the court this year? Uh, what do you think is going to be uh, the key for your team for this one? Uh, I think I think we've gotten a lot better in focusing on ourselves. Um, we we want to be the best us. I mean, we want to we want to play inside out. We want to rebound. We want to run. Um, if we if we can play inside out, rebound and run, then I think we're going to be fine. And that's like that's almost every game. You know, sometimes, you know, in, in the past we've had a really young team with freshmen and sophomores. We only have one senior this year, but we're a little we're a little more veteran oriented um, just because of the games under our belt. But uh, I think this year we're just focused on ourselves more. You know, uh, obviously we have to. We have to shut down a few sets that Millbrook does. We have to break and handle their pressure. But with that said, you know, if we can if we can execute what we do, play inside out, rebound and run, we're gonna be pretty good every night. Coach, you mentioned only one senior on your team and even though you have that experience with guys that were put in playing since their freshman year, a guy that's really always been a leader for your team but now will certainly take a bigger leadership role I would think is Max Anderson he's coming off of a great football season what does Max bring into the the basketball team this year did special leader three-year captain for us he was a captain as a freshman um yeah like I said he was a little out of shape football and basketball shape are different um but yeah Max is Max is so tough he's so gritty he's so willing to do um everything that no one else is uh he's our leader um, out there, uh, we it's, it's kind of fortunate because we have Caleb Thomas and Aquasia Poco a champ on going sophomore. Those are our three captains voted on by our players. So, um, but Max leads. Max was overwhelmingly the number one vote there. So uh, you can't replace a kid like that. You know, I think he, he's like a super senior. Really, I mean, I know he's only a junior, uh, but he's been around so long. He's been with us in seventh grade. Uh, he knows the system. He knows what we're what we're looking for, and you just can't you can't replace a kid like that. Uh, he's our floor general out there, and uh, you know I expect a lot out of him. You know, on and off the floor. Uh, and as a coach, I'm fortunate to have a kid like that. Coach, at the beginning of our uh, interview here with you, you said you guys have that March mentality, and with that, wanted to get your thoughts about the. Uh, conference and how strong it will be this year well we've been fortunate uh, because we haven't played yet and i've got to see everyone else play so you know i, I can make a kind of educated assessment of it um it's the epac you know i say it every year everyone's going to be good in the epac everyone i've seen looks pretty solid um obviously they look a lot like us you know they have a lot of talent you know it's been shaky here or there but i'm sure we're going to look shaky here or there tonight um Obviously, uh, in my opinion, two-time EPAC champions, Jefferson High School, they're, they're the king. Uh, they're number one. Until someone beats them, they're going to be number one. Um, and other than that, man, it's just it, everyone's, everyone has so much talent. And uh, it's just who, who is going to work all the kinks out and uh, be there at the end. I think it's, any, I think it's up for grabs. Um, but, you know, based off of what I've seen from Jefferson and, you know, them being the defending champions two years in a row, you know, they're the best. Everyone's chasing them. And, uh, you know, at night in and night out, who can handle the big crowds? Who can handle the stressful situations? Um, who can execute down the stretch? And I think that's what it comes down to. Every, every school in the EPAC is very talented. <laughs> I thought you were good. Sorry, Dylan. Yeah. Uh, Coach, um, you know, we talked about Max. Um, Caleb Thomas is the other guy that comes back that has a lot of the experience. When you look at Caleb, you know, t super talented, can do a lot of different things for your team. Do you think, though, he maybe needs to take another step this year, uh, especially now that he's, you know, heading into his junior season and, and you have a lot of high expectations for him? 
Yeah, and I think I think you're going to see that. Um, Caleb's he's not he's not the same player that he was last year. Again, uh, it's a process with every kid. Um, every kid's going to progress in, in in different ways, and uh, you know through the through the West Virginia Gold um, playing on the New Balance circuit, uh, through our team camps, through the fall league. And through the exposure, just being around, they talk, I mean, he's talking to Division II coaches. He's talking to Division One coaches um, on a weekly basis. Um, I think that gives a kid confidence. I think he believes that uh, he he is a different player, and uh, you're you're going to see you're going to see a lot a lot more um, balance. You know, he can he can play inside. Uh, he can play with his back to the basket now. Um, he can play outside. He can still run the point and stuff like that. He could do that last year. Um, if he has to shoot the ball, I mean, he's one of the best shooters on the team. Um, he just doesn't like to take a shot when he can go dunk it, you know. So, uh, yeah, you're going to see a more aggressive kid. He's a mild manner kid. He's, he's not. I mean, uh, in our in, in a few of our scrimmages, I mean, he'll he'll dunk on someone's head and then he'll just you know show no emotion. That's just what he is. He thinks that's what he should do. Um, that's his job. Um, but other than that, his play is going to be a, is a lot more aggressive. Uh, he's put on about 20 pounds. Um, so that, that's really helped him in the weight room. Uh, and again, I think his ability to play with his back to the basket this year is really, is really, really gonna, uh, really, really gonna change things. And we have a point guard. Uh, we have a crazy poker, a champ on max is better with the ball. So we have some guys that can, you know, he doesn't have to bring the ball up and then do everything. He, he gets a little bit of a break to where, you know, we can set some stuff up for him. Oh, cause we have other guys that can handle the ball. All right, Coach, thank you for the time, and uh, best of luck tonight. Thank you, guys. See you tonight. Yep.